Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage experiment video. Um, this is uh, the second one, and a uh, couple of little changes for this one. We have uh, three uh, modern Hot Wheels cars that my son had kindly donated to the cause, and uh, we can perhaps do something a, a little later on. But uh, as you can see, the difference there between the two glasses, these are not uh, foot longs, but they're half a foot long I guess uh, they are hot dog jars and uh, we had hot dogs for dinner tonight and uh, yeah I might have uh, thrown a few out for the dogs and put in another jar ready for another day but uh, yeah we've got three cars here um, I see the BMW on the right Porsche in the middle and then is that a Dodge I believe uh, on the left there and the idea and I cut this from the kind of comment section is the difference that um, perhaps of reaction between cold water, uh, hot water that cools, and uh, hot water that continues to stay hot for the 24 hour period. Uh, so, on the left here, I'm going to fill these jars up to about halfway before putting in a tablespoon of caustic soda. Uh, but in this left jar um, is just room temperature. Uh, cool water and we shall not uh, heat this up at all and see what kind of reaction that we do get and then uh, just uh, re-boiling the water there trying to keep exactly the same kind of level in the uh, middle and the uh, right hand jar here what I'll do is I'll add a tablespoon of uh, caustic soda to each and uh, yeah just showing my glove there um, that was one of the things in the uh, first experiment video where I was handling the castings after and uh, basically the caustic solution was I think turning the the natural oils in my skin into a soapy substance uh, which is pretty crazy But uh, yeah, you'll notice that there was no kind of bubbling over from the first, but certainly from the second and third there, we get a good reaction. One uh, interesting thing to note, the caustic soda solution there was making the uh, bottom end of this uh, jar quite warm. So it was, you know, heating up the water to a certain extent, but certainly not enough that I couldn't touch it. But you, you may or may not see the caustic solution that kind of almost solidified uh, to the bottom of that jar. And as I swish it around, it's... Uh, it's kind of taken to the shape of the uh, bottom of the jar there and it certainly like I say it has warmed up uh, somewhat but yeah very little but um, it was interesting uh, nonetheless but at the, at the moment nothing's happening in the first kind of uh, 30 seconds and you can tell by the heat of just uh, pulling off this jar here as I move it to one side to kind of uh, carefully grab this Porsche here. I think you could already see the paint from the bonnet or the hood or well of course it's a rear engine so I guess that's the trunk or the boot lid on the front uh, but already we have quite a lot of reaction there whereas the cold water version was uh, very still kind of no bubbles no reaction in the water and uh, already actually with the BMW we've got quite a, a good amount of paint removal. I'm going to switch these around because the middle one here seemingly is done just with the uh, hot water a lot of the uh, paint removal so I don't think I'm going to need to keep this water hot for 24 hours to do the job 
as you can see there's a nice little chunk of paint on the rear end there just holding on but I would say just within the first couple of minutes the caustic solution there has done its job Now what I'm going to use to keep the water at a hot temperature is a Fivarium uh, heat lamp and this was simply a kind of standard lamp on an arm that attaches to my desk and I was using it as a, as a light ultimately and originally to uh, light my uh, pieces for the videos but I switched out to these uh, heat lamps and I, I use them actually to help dry castings but I've found that they are good for the, um, the primer and also the, the base coat but they certainly react with a clear coat and varnish so there's a bit of advice but I wasn't convinced this would really do much but it really did it really did keep that uh, water hot but uh, here's the the cool one it's been about half an hour and uh, yeah not a lot going on with this I think the cold water and uh, caustic uh, soda it doesn't really work and uh, any heat that did come from this uh, caustic soda to start with has certainly dissipated now. The uh, one in the middle, as you can see, I think this is uh, all the paint's gone already for this one. Uh, you can see in the kind of levels here the amount of water that we have lost in the first half an hour through uh, steam not just from the hot water but from the uh, caustic soda really getting it uh, hot but uh, yeah I think uh, if we of course were doing a normal restoration this one would be ready to pull out and uh, start the wire the steel wire in the uh, Dremel process and before paint and then the uh, third jar here you can see it's stuck fast I think the water and the jar is so hot that any kind of uh, paint that's on the bottom of my booth it just uh, stuck to it but it doesn't seem to be a huge amount of reaction I think at this stage normally what I would do is flush it, see what we got, maybe have to do like a second round but um, obviously that's just a part of this experiment so it's now about an hour or so later and we're having a look at this cold water jar and yeah an hour in this solution has uh, really done nothing for it I can now hold the uh, jar with the water the kind of temperature is, uh, is now lost out of this and uh, we're now down to the same temperature as the left hand jar but this one has certainly uh, already done its job uh, I think you can see that the paint inside there we have around about a hundred percent paint removal so certainly happy with that one uh, just moving the light out of the way there and this uh, jar and water is still so very hot I was surprised actually how hot that uh, light managed to keep this uh, solution here but even after an hour we don't have the 
I guess the um, the paint removal as I was hoping. Well, you can see the level is down the same as the other one, and overnight we'll experience further uh, water loss as I replace the uh, the heater element here. So it is now 24 hours later. Quite interesting, I think you can uh, see here we have lost so much of this water. And I think that in itself proves that this uh, vivarium lamp really does uh, keep this water hot. Very surprised. And uh, sure enough, after 24 hours, that, is, that water is still too hot to touch. But the paint inside there, look at that, it's starting to really uh, come away, as you would imagine, after a whole day. And there's a, the, uh, the water levels side by side. But let's uh, start pulling them out and uh, looking at the differences. So as we uh, pour away the cold water experiment just into a uh, larger vat of cold water and uh, just help dilute it before handling although I am wearing uh, gloves today on both hands in the last experiment although I had um, well I felt that just to dilute the car down and rinse it off it was a uh, the caustic solution was stuck to it and would make my hands a very strange but uh, anyway so as we can see the paint still remains very much on this casting but the kind of little uh, what are they tempos or decals on the side and on the bonnet there uh, have or you know managed to come off nicely I'm wondering whether this is uh, a good solution going forward to remove those from a casting just put it into cold water the wheels there you know everything about this casting is perfect the windscreen no problem once this car is dried out you'll never know I right, well there's a couple of little blisters very very minute in this paint and it's kind of like one or two on each surface and you may or may not just see it you can just see it there a tiny little bubble in the paint but once this car's dried out you know it will be played with again and I think you'll never know that it was in that caustic solution but for it working thumbs down cold water with caustic soda is not a good mix. Uh, this one is the hot water but left to cool probably took about an hour for the uh, water to really cool down and as we can see what a big difference that is. Uh, rinsing it off here with a little wiggle I think we can uh, say that we have 100% paint removal and bearing in mind the hot water plus the caustic soda solution that whole top is plastic and the wheels there's no damage no problem everything survived here other than the paint of course there's a couple of tiny little uh, remnants there just around the uh, the bonnet and what I'll do is I'll just brush these off just so that uh, it's nice and clean and I can confirm 100% removal. Now I'm wondering what to do with these uh, couple of castings. Not necessarily the one that has all the paint on it, but uh, the, the two that have had the hot water treatment. I'm wondering whether to uh, polish them up as they are, just get them straight into the buffing wheel. 
you know, with base and window intact, just to see what kind of uh, reaction we get to that. But otherwise, it just looks like a, a car as manufactured, just without the paint. Everything else in in uh, in perfect condition. And here we have the Porsche left. Not a lot of water. And I could have um, perhaps filled it up in the morning, but I felt you know that would be uh, kind of against the experiment. You can see the kind of dried on uh, caustic soda uh, solution on the side of the jar there, where the light was uh, at its uh, hottest. Uh, just cleaning my little jar as we go. Although, of course, I uh, probably need to get a little scrubber in there to get that uh, area off. The, uh, the Matchbox Garage wiggle there. And I am somewhat surprised. This one would have been, of course, uh, probably a bit of a pig uh, to get this paint off. And... The 24 hours has really uh, helped me out, but I think uh, we do see some damage with the uh, windscreen there, unfortunately. But uh, of course, the the paint is is long gone. It's just cuddling or hugging this casting. But a little trip in the uh, water there, yeah, it all does come away. A little bit kind of uh, awkward handling this while I was trying to keep it in the uh, frame and uh, you know doing the job to uh, remove this paint but as a second experiment I think this has been pretty good I think the answer of putting the caustic soda into cold water it does not work for the uh, bigger jobs perhaps for that lightweight stuff we've removing that to uh, over paint something like that I know I do use it with the cooled paint when I uh, remove the kind of a uh, very light chrome painted over interiors and engines and such such like that but otherwise we need the hot and I'm surprised actually the spoiler there the plastic spoiler kept in good condition and the wheels as well just just that uh, windscreen there but uh, yeah I think I'll use that as well um, going forward that light just to keep that heat in that water because it really does work so uh, yeah thumbs up for that but uh, I hope you have liked this uh, experiment video number two any further ideas with these castings or anything else please do let me know down in the comment section below but anyway thanks for watching guys I'll see you soon